Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 148 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're gonna need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. All right, so I started the first set of <laughs> this trucks with 40 pounds. Uh, now I think it was a mistake. Should have loaded them with 25 pound discs. I forgot I'm doing this. That's the very first exercise of the day. So, I was kind of too light. So adding 10 pounds total should do the trick. Should reduce my rep count because that was a lot of reps. So what I'm going to do is I'll take all this weight off, load it with 25ers, and then do the next set with that much. Uh, not gonna lie, I definitely felt that set there, but I need to cut the rep count a little bit. So let's do that quick before the timer screams at me. Likes doing that. Yeah. Sorry about the noise though. Gonna be a little loud up here. Now I do remember that these things, besides being cold, they're also very heavy with the 25 pounders on. Time is almost up. That's the hard part about not being ready and all set up when you're working out. I just spent my entire break there just messing with the weight. I'm still tired <laughs> from the last set, but now time is up and I have to go back to it. All right. Live and learn next time. Load it with the 25ers first. All right, here we go with some more shrugs.
Time for our second break. Wow. Definitely felt that set. My rep count was still kind of high. However, it felt pretty good there. I personally don't think I can hold any more weight than that in my hands. So the next two sets are gonna stay with the same amount of weight. Once the set is done, I'll dismantle them, the dumbbells again and load them with uh, 10 pounders to do um, to do the reverse flies. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the lateral and front races today, but I guess we'll find out. You'll find out. <laughs> Yeah, I'll we'll load them with the tens and go with the reverse flies. Whew. All right. Last night wasn't too bad at work. It was cold as usual, apparently. That's the new norm now. But work itself wasn't too bad. Smooth night. I got all my stuff done and came back home. Part of the deal. All right, time is almost up. Well, still over a minute to go. Just make sure I'm hydrated. I'm trying to be hydrated. Feel my legs from yesterday, and I did something to my knee. Uh, I forgot at what point yesterday, but that knee was acting up a little weird. I still feel it like right there. It's, I don't know what it is, but hope it goes away. And also my calves. I do feel my calves, especially this one. This one too, but I don't know, maybe I was doing more with the right leg than with the left one. But anyway, time is up. Here we go. Take another break. Definitely feel it. Every single rep. Even though in that particular set I was going a little too fast. A little consciously slow down on this next set. Not a race. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see how long it's gonna take me to take the 25ers off and put 10 pounders on. Oh. Or should I load them with fibers? 
Nah. <laughs> I'll save the work. Loaded with with pens. I'm just still thinking about like, should I do the lateral and front races or not? I'm gonna leave it for last. If I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it at the end of the exercise today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm still gonna do them. Especially the lateral. It helps with the delt. I don't know what they're called, the median delt. <laughs> Since they lack, I mean, a lack of those delts. So, so, yeah, I'll do the exercise. What the hey? <sighs> Oof. Just three more days. Well, two more days till halfway through this journey. Three more days to the update. Three more days. <laughs> oh, and tomorrow is my day off from working out. AKA tomorrow is core and cardio day. Well, cardio-ish day. I don't know if I'm gonna do all four sets of each exercise tomorrow. Uh, got distracted there. So I don't know if I'm gonna do all four sets of each, each exercise or I'm gonna lower it to three. But since it is my day off, I only do it every other week. I should go with all four sets. Anyway, time is up. Here we go. Let's take another break. Yeah, I don't know where I was feeling it more in my hands. <laughs> oh, my traps. All right, let's dismantle these things. First smart bell is done. Alright, 
Smart valves are set for the reverse flies. I'll do that exercise. Uh, I'm going to bring the bench. Now I'm gonna do the shoulder press last. So, four sets of the reverse flies. Then I'll do the front and lateral races. And, and then I'll bring the bench for the shoulder press. All right, just a couple more seconds to go. Oh. And I'll drink all my water already. <laughs> All right, time is up. And here we go. Let's just change the orientation just a tad. And let's do this. All right, let's take a break and talk about that one. Decent set, not my best. I think I cut it short prematurely. Should have done a few more reps. Try to do two or three more, at least try. Uh, that set was a decent amount of reps with a decent form, but I could have done more. But I still have three more sets to make this one right. All right, so in a couple more days, we're gonna see the results of my failures. All these sets to failure-ish. <laughs> see if we got any progress. If we don't have any progress, then I don't know what we're doing here. Well, actually, I do know what we're doing here, regardless of progress or not progress. Uh, I am way healthier now than I was 148 days ago. And that is important. I can definitely go for long walks now. I can go for long walks. I can exercise harder. I don't struggle carrying my baby tornado. <laughs> it's all good, life is good. It's just a matter of taking an actual picture and see where my progress is taking me. Actually, I should weigh myself before, uh, before Wednesday and see. Yeah, I should weigh myself before Wednesday to see if I'm losing weight or I'm plateau on weight or maybe because weight doesn't tell you much. Just the weight doesn't really tell you much. It only tells you how much you weigh. Some of that weight can be muscle. Some of that weight can be fat. So if muscle are going up one pound, 
just to make a simple pose. <laughs> Not saying that I gained one pound of muscle, it's just extremely hard. Uh, if I went up one pound of muscle and I lost one pound of fat, those two kind of cancel each other out. So I'll stay at the same weight, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> so out of the 100 pounds that I weigh, assuming that I weigh 100 pounds, I lose one, I lose one pound of fat and gain one pound of muscle, I'm still at 100 pounds. Just one pound less fat than I was in the previously. There we go, clear. Time is up, here we go. All right, let's take a break. And let's see. Oh, let's leave it there for till the end of next set. Wow. I feel my heart a little bit. But that set was definitely Definitely better than the previous set. Time is ticking. I don't know if I'm gonna need more than the three minutes that I prescribed to myself. Good, I can definitely see my veins finally decide to come out. <laughs> still feel today I don't know I don't know I don't feel the heaviest today don't feel the lightest I feel good as it is yeah as soon as I'm done here I'm gonna weigh myself and see what the scale says I don't think it's gonna say too much <laughs> oh. So uh, the other day, actually three days ago, I went ahead and measured my body fat percentage, at least I think I did. So, I don't think I did it right. <laughs> Cause it was a low number, it was lower than what I thought it was gonna be. Like 5%, lower than what I thought was going to say so that being said I don't know where my body fat percentage is I don't know what it is it's definitely below 20 by now how much below 20 I don't know but I was shooting for 15 16 percent body fat I don't think that's gonna cut any to go a little bit lower or not go lower but maybe at 15 14 percent body fat but increase my muscle mass so I don't look like just a skinny guy <laughs> I have plenty of that on my teen years all right time is up here we go again on the Third set of this exercise. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here we go. Let's take a break. Let's reset this girl. Whew. All right, so we have one more set of these reverse flies. I don't know if that is too much weight for the lateral and front races. But I guess we'll find out. Actually, let's, let's see now. Yeah. Yeah, it is too much weight. <laughs> I mean, I can do them if I definitely cheat, but the plan is to do them right, not just to do them. So. Since I already assemble, dismantle, reassemble, re-dismantle, and reassemble these dumbbells, I don't feel like dismantling them to do all do it all over again. So I'll bring the bench, I'll do the shoulder press once I'm done with it. I'll dis disassemble it again for the last time. Well, not the last time, but. And then load it with the proper weight. Which is baby weight. <laughs> All right, let's see. Spreadsheet, where are you? All right. Here says that. My front and lateral races are, yep, what? Oh, okay, yeah, it has to be with the five pounders. Yeah, it has to be with the five pounders. That's what I did last time. That's what I've been doing and that's what's been working out for me. Whew. All right, I don't know if you're ready, but I am ready for the last set of these reverse flies. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, let's take a break. All right, the last couple of reps. I guess I did them just for doing them. Because they were not the cleanest ones I've ever done. I was already out of gas when, when I did those, when I did the last two. 
All right, let's bring the bench over here. Wow. Let's see. Let's just leave it like that there. And lower this way. All right, that should be fine there. That should be in frame. <sighs> yep. <laughs> oh, I have to bring you guys back up. Once I start working with the front and lateral races. <sighs> Which I don't know if I'm gonna get to it because I'm already tired. I went to the chiropractor on Monday. My back is a little stiff. Like it doesn't hurt, but it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it's from my back day because it kind of, Correlated with the back day, but my back feels a little stiff. All right, just a few more seconds to go. We'll do this shoulder presses and move on with our day. Is that uh, yes. Okay, okay. Sorry, got sidetracked. <laughs> As you heard, time is up. So let's do this. That's a good one. I definitely felt that one. That definitely drained a little bit of a little bit of gas I had left. Ah, oh. oh, it's gonna be strange to be or to say gas in the near future future generations will probably not know what gas is or gas was <laughs> so many things changing in this world something that never changes is life Comes in and goes. Some are longer than others. Some are shorter. Some of us try to stay healthy for as long as we can and live long lives. Some of us don't really care that much. Some of us do care, but have other, other priorities are taking over. <sighs> so many things that are basic and common sense to many people that are not to others and the other way around too but that's life that is life 
Well, I don't have any more water. <laughs> and I don't have that refill, which is what I was looking for. Yeah, nope. Alright. Well, these pens are being serving well in this cold weather. Yes, I'm wearing a sleeveless t shirt, but it's not too, too cold in here. And yesterday's cardio went fairly smooth. I did 45 minutes. I was gonna push it to an hour. But I got a phone call from work, so I <laughs> to go to work. Uh, life is so short. If you leave stuff that is important for tomorrow, you might not be able to do it tomorrow. Anyway, time is kind of up, not really. By the time I lift this thing, it will be up. Take a break. Uh, definitely felt that one. That was a good set. And let's see if I'm working tonight. Even though my days off will start tonight at 10 p.m. It's a pretty good chance I get a phone call before 10 p.m. <laughs> that phone, if the phone rings, I'll have to work into my days off, into my first day off. At least I'm not on the road that when that happens, I end up working throughout my entire two days off, which might not sound like a big deal, but when you only get one weekend off a week <laughs> and then they call you every time you have a weekend off, they call you to work, it gets old, it gets old. All right, let's see. As of right now, two jobs for tonight and I'm the first one, <laughs> I'm the first one out. So, that being said, I'm definitely working tonight. Def Actually, I'm the only one that's gonna be arrested for tonight. Actually, no, there's another guy. Oh, there's two of us. Oh, never mind. Never mind, he's on his rest days. Yeah, I'm the only one. It's gonna be interesting to see what's happening tonight. If I get to choose, I'll go to work at 10.30. That way I leave earlier in the morning. At least that's the thought process. <sighs> All right, just a few more seconds to go. And we have two more sets of dumbbell press or shoulder press. Let's see, okay, we still have plenty of time. Two more sets and then we'll get up and do the front and lateral races. All right, here we go with the third set of this 
exercise. My knee's still bugging me from yesterday's exercise. Things about getting old. All right, here we go. Take a break. <sighs> Definitely felt that one. I almost, I almost stopped when I hit 12 reps. Almost. And then I kept on pushing. <laughs> Whew. Definitely kept on pushing on that one. All right, let's see. All right, since I woke up not too long ago and I didn't have a big meal, I have lots of calories that I can take still till the end of the day. When I say lots of calories, I mean over a thousand calories to go. <laughs> Whew. Like over a thousand calories. All right, let's see. All right, time is still ticking. And we have one more set of this exercise. We'll dismantle the dumbbells again. And do the laterals and front races. Which at this point, I, just, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I've, I've worked every angle of the muscles already. <laughs> Uh, but I gotta do that. At least I see. Uh, how you call it? I don't know. Let's just do it just as part of the routine, just to say that I touched bases on the muscle, at least target it just a little bit. That doesn't mean that I'm just gonna slack on it. I'm gonna push it. All four sets. Of I don't know how many reps because I'm not really counting them. I mean, I do, but I don't at the same time. All right, time is almost up. We're gonna go again with the last set of this shoulder press. All right, here we go. Wow, lost it all there. I was thinking about going for a 12th rep, but on my way down on that 11th, just came down too fast. 
I could barely stop it. <laughs> that was a good one for sure. Anyway, let's do what I said I was going to do. Sorry about the loud noise. with the fitness gear plates which is talking about plates and weights and whatnot whole bunch of scalpers on Craigslist too Sorry about the noise again. This is not the middle of the night, I'm waking up my neighbors. But anyway, a whole bunch of scalpers on Craigslist too. Like all these people that once the pandemic started and everybody started buying crazy stuff and emptying the stores some people decided to buy a whole bunch of weights and then sell them at crazy prices like two dollars and fifty cents per pound that is a little bit excessive in my opinion two dollars and fifty and those are the nice people. <laughs> those are the nice people. The not so nice people. AKA the ones that have the weights you're looking for. They sell them. Three and four dollars per pound. That is a steal for sure. Now it's entirely up to you if you want to pay some clown too much money for weights. If you are definitely desperate, like as desperate as you can be, just be careful. I'd rather just do push-ups and pull-ups Maybe buy one of them uh, uh, resistant bands and work out with those instead of overpaying for weights. But again, my opinion doesn't mean much to many people. All right, let's raise this thing up. This, we're gonna be standing in here. Yes, I know, time is up. You don't have to remind me. You do have to remind me sometimes. But then when you have to remind me, or when you need to remind me, you don't. But anyway, time is up. Here we go with the tiny dumbbells. <laughs> Here we go. Let's take a break. Woo. I'm definitely tired by now. From the very first rep to the very last one. Felt every single rep there. 
Okay, just making sure that the transmitter was powered on. Three more sets, and that's it for today. Definitely feel my shoulders today. Wondering what it's for dinner or dinner. <laughs> What's well, dinner for me? <laughs> well, heart rate is a little up. Kind of at cardio, cardio stage. 113, 115, you know, fluctuating. It's kind of going down now, but. Oh, all right. Let's see what the fiance says. I am almost done. And she is going to say, I don't know, what do you want? <laughs> Uh. All right, we are under a minute to go. On this break, we have three more sets. And that will be it for today. I know it's like an hour long video, over an hour long video, most likely at this point. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we are pretty close. <laughs> With the next nine minutes, it's gonna be like definitely at the hour <sighs> neighborhood. All right, time is up, and here we go. Well, let's take a break. Wow. Definitely felt that one. First few reps. Felt like a brand new guy. I was even surprised at how straight and how good the first reps went. Like wow, I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> I'm getting stronger now. And then all of a sudden, strength vanished. And then I was struggling. <laughs> but other than that, it was a pretty freaking good set. Felt every rep. I'm feeling every every rep right now too. Alright. 
All right. I don't know what to say, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely tired now. But we are two sets away from the end of this video. And I can't wait until tomorrow. Even though tomorrow's my day off from working out, actually my day off from work too. Uh, tomorrow's exercise is not a piece of cake <laughs> to say, <laughs> to be too exact. And I will also play the bike cardio in the corner like last time. Now for tomorrow, uh, I don't know if the bike ride is gonna be for the entire, during the entire video or I'll just do it like I did last time, just play it during the breaks. So we'll see, you'll see. <laughs> oh man, I need some water. <clears throat> Actually, I have some Gatorade inside the house. So, once I go in, I'll drink my bottle of Gatorade and go on with my day. Oh, that, should, that should help me to recover faster. Anyway, time is up and here we go. All right, very last last break of the day. Woo. Ah. That was a good set for sure. Definitely felt it. You probably didn't notice but my phone was ringing. <laughs> my brother was calling me. I guess he likes calling me when I'm working out. <sighs> All right, I'll call you back, bro. I'll call you back. He still hasn't responded to me since yesterday, from yesterday's text message. He's not much of a text message type of guy. He likes the phone conversations better. Oh. All right. Time. Oh. It's still ticking. It's the very last break of the day. Put this little smart bells away <sighs> and call it a day. <sighs> now, even though it's really cold out out here today, it doesn't feel too bad. Not too bad. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm getting used to it or what the deal is, but could be worse. Actually, I felt worse days in here than today. Uh, I have a few boxes in here. I need to get rid of them. That's one of the biggest problems about sheds and closets and garages. Is the, let's save this box because I might use it later. Uh, let's save this thing, I might use it later. And then months go by and that thing that you saved for later is still there. Underneath, 500 other things that you left for later. <laughs> All right, time is up. Let's do this. Here we go. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.